Hello and welcome to Mint Talk India. We are studying chapter 1st of NCERT class 5th EVS Super Census. This chapter is divided into three parts and this is part 3. So let's start. We will discuss about the sloth. Sloth the lazy one. Why lazy? Because out of 24 hours in a day, sloth sleeps 17 hours. That is more than half of one full day. It looks like a bear but it is not. It spends almost 17 hours a day sleeping, hanging upside down on a tree branch. The sloth eats the leaves of the same tree on which it lives. It hardly needs anything else. When it has eaten enough leaves from that tree, it moves to another tree nearby. Sloth live for about 40 years and in that time they move around only 8 trees. Once a week, it comes down from the tree to relieve itself. Now, see how the sleeping time of the sloth is shown in the circle. The circle is divided into 12 fractions, that is 12 parts, and each part means 2 hours. So, first let us count the time for which the sloth is awake. So, each triangle or each fraction is denoted by 2 hours, that is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The so time for which the sloth is awake is 6 hours. So now count the sleeping time for the sloth. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So the sloth sleeps for 18 hours in a day. In the book it is mentioned 17 hours but because 17 is odd number we cannot divide it properly in whole number that is why we have taken 18. Now you have to shade the fraction for which a lizard is sleeping in winters. How will you show the clock for a lizard in winters? So as I already told you lizards sleeps 24 hours throughout the winter. So how much portion you will shade? You will shade the whole portion because it sleeps full 24 hours in winter season. Similarly, you have to count the sleeping time of the cow. Uh, that is, you have to count the shaded portion. Cow will sleep 1, 2. So, cow will sleep 4 hours. Similarly, python sleeps for 18 hours. Giraffe sleeps for 2 hours and cat sleeps for 12 hours. Let us count one more time. For python, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. That is why 18. Giraffe, only one fraction that is 2 hours. Cat, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 12 hours sleeping time for the cat. Now we have already discussed about tigers. They have more than one super sense yet they are in danger. First of all we will list all the super senses which tigers have. First is super sense of sight. Tigers can see six times better at night than us. They can see very far away that too at night, when it is very dark, they can see very clearly. They have super sense of hearing. They can make out the difference between rustling of leaves and animals moving on grass. Tigers can move their ears in all directions and catch sound from different directions, from all the directions. They have super sense of smell. A tiger can recognize the smell of urine of other tigers and they can avoid going into other tigers area. Tigers can also make out different sounds for different purposes like if they want to scare someone or if they want to call out for their friends, they can make out different type of sounds. They also have super sensitive whiskers. What are whiskers? Whiskers are these things. Tiger's whiskers can sense movement in the air and can find its prey. So in spite of having so many super senses, why they are in danger? Because 
the number of tigers are decreasing and there are only 2,226 tigers left in India. And if we don't save them, then after a few years, all the tigers will disappear. And the future children won't be able to see tigers. Just like we see dinosaurs only in pictures and movies now, future children will also be able to see tigers only in pictures and movies. And tiger is our national animal. So, it is our duty to save the tigers. So, what are the dangers faced by tigers? Hunters and poachers are the biggest threat to tigers. Poacher means people who hunt animal and sell their body parts to make money out of it. Hunters and poachers kill tigers and sell their beautiful skin at a very high cost. Second reason is deforestation. Deforestation is cutting of trees from a large area of a forest. Forest is home for the tigers and many other animals. If trees are not there, then where will the animal live? So, here are a few things made out of animal skin. Just like this carpet, which is made out of tiger skin. This leather belt, made out of a snake skin. This bag, made from crocodile skin. Elephants are killed for their tusks as these tusks are very costly. Rhinoceros are also killed for their horns. Sometimes we humans are so cruel that to earn money we kill innocent animals which is not right. Everyone has a right to live be it humans or animals. Tigers are killed for their skin. Elephants are killed for their tusks. Rhinos are killed for their horns. Snakes, crocodiles, they are also killed for their skin. And musk deer are killed for their musks. So now question is how to save animal? Who will save them? Our government will save them. To protect the animals, our government has made some forests as protected area. Some of them are Jim Corbett National Park in Uttarakhand. Ghana National Park in Bharatpur district of Rajasthan. In these areas, nobody can hunt animals or destroy the jungle. As you can see, how many tigers are left now? There are only 2026 tigers left in India and this is according to 2018. So you can think how many less tigers are remaining. So now, we are going to mark some of the national parks of our country. There are many national parks, but I am going to make out only a few because space is less, no? So first is Ghana National Park in Rajasthan. Ranthambhore National Park is also in Rajasthan. Gir National Park in Gujarat. Kanha National Park in Madhya Pradesh. Jim Corbett National Park in Uttarakhand. Palamu National Park in Jharkhand, Kanziranga National Park in Assam. Let us revise one more time. Ghana National Park and Ranthambore National Park in Rajasthan, Gir National Park in Gujarat, Kanha National Park in Madhya Pradesh, Jim Corbett National Park in Uttarakhand, Palamu National Park in Jharkhand, Kanziranga National Park in Assam. So this is the end of our third part and here we finish our chapter. If you have any doubts, feel free to ask me in the comment section. I will reply as soon as possible. See you soon with chapter 2. God bless you all. Thanks for watching and do like, share, subscribe our channel Mint Talk India for more upcoming videos.